So beyond in-person time, um, I like to talk about strategic networking. I've already talked about that a little bit, um, but if you're charting that out, you know, I would really try to, and and I'm, I'm not great at this because I like to just like jump in and do things and improvise, but as much as you can plan out, like who are the people you want to talk to and prioritize that? Because I think a lot of us can um, waste a lot of time networking with places that sort of drain our energy. And so um, if you connect with folks who, you know, lift you up and who are kind of on your team, that's great. And I think kind of an offshoot, a positive thing of, you know, a lot more remote work is that places in California or Europe or who knows where, Texas, that wouldn't have hired you pre-pandemic might hire you now. Like they're they're much more open to hiring people in remote. Not everyone wants to re work remotely, you know, and I totally understand that. And we get we can get a lot of energy by being in person with folks, but it does create flexibility um, for doing that. Crystal, we were just talking about that earlier, and we're really glad that she's here to provide, you know, all these services to folks in a remote location.